What is going on everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with Prey. So off camera I did go ahead and look up the number of that test. Um, I decided to look it up online because I knew there had to be more to it and sure enough there was. If you put the answers in a specific way, a chest opens up. Uh, we got three neuro mods. So I believe what I got with those neuro mods was, let's see, where is it? We got hacking level two now. So that's what I decided to go ahead and get. Uh, so I think next I'm probably going to get, man, there's, there's a few, um, let's see. Physician, that gets med kits more effective, double duration of well-fed bonus, recover more, but where's the recycle one? Uh, let's see, this it right here? Yeah, see, that's kind of what I, I don't know if I want to get that next necessarily, but I want to get this sooner than later because 20% more recycling materials is always a good thing. Um, so what I, th uh, but then I also want to do more damage with my guns and I also, actually I think the next one I'm going to go ahead and probably get to is combat focus, slow down time, it only costs two, and then after that I'll probably get the recycling one, but uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on, so we're not going to go to Calvino's lab just yet, uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of explore around because we haven't really done that, we went, we went in here, we went to the trauma center and that was it last episode. And I believe we can probably go back to the, uh, what's it called? To the security area, because I think we can hack that now. Oh, hello. Alien Take him out. Make some blocks here for him. I want to deploy him and turn him this way, but I'm afraid they're gonna. That's when they're gonna turn this way. I'm gonna risk it. No, I don't want to hack it. I don't need to hack it for. Well, there's at least one. There he is. There's a couple of them. Let's go get him. Whoa, did they, did they explode into that fire? Oh, the turret guy. There's another turret down there. The turret got him. Very nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so... I've got a med kit here. It's take hard, which we don't... We already got that, I believe, in the... Where did we get that last time? From the office, I think, next to us. Not right next to us, but up there. Food. Where? Let me get this way so the turret will get him. There he is. Oh, this is a nice little turret here. So, let's check out the map here and see, just see what we all have. <clears throat> let's see, we got quite a few places to go. We can check out. Uh, let's go to the Transtar exhibit first, I guess. And there's security here. Hold on, let's see the security real quick. Yeah, okay, uh, we need a key card for this though, don't we? Okay. Hmm. Yep, you know what? We can get up there. There's nothing up on these pipes. Yeah, I think I might turn the brightness up just to the security area. Oh, there's a shotgun, but we already have one. We'll take it anyway because we can dismantle it. I'll go ahead and read this. Survivor's account of the evacuation day two. Day two. I woke up still in the street and M35 truck was stopped near me and the driver was yelling at me to get in. There were several people in the back already, four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck and someone gave me a, wa a bottle of water. I asked what was happening and a soldier just shrugged. I told him I had driven the M35 during my service, people in the truck were crying and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with gray and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it and it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. 
Before we got to the highway, we heard shooting. The soldiers climbed down and readied their weapons. The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west. Then they ran toward the shooting. Got a safe here. Um, fortunately, we can't crack that to level 3. Maybe we can find the code around here. Oh, could this be it? Dimitri's being held like you asked. He knew the door code, so I changed it to 1129. Holding room. Okay. See any filing cabinets? Nope. Oh, let's go ahead and check this out. Got four emails. Let's see. This is from Alex you to Sarah Alizar. CC to Marco Simmons. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. This is to Elias Black, who was blackmailing Yuri, if I recall, to Sarah. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security Officer Elias Black. Please add Michaelia Illusion, sure I butchered that, to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes for a potential security risk and we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let anyone near the labs. Also flag any communications between her and Dr. Gallegos out of psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect she has white noise, so the fact she falsified her records may be enough. Normally, I advocate neuromod removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me apprised. Interesting. Alex Yu to Sarah. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP-101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. No files, no utilities. Oh, this is another thing to read. The Orbit. A highlighted excerpt from the Song of Deborah in the sacred text of Beta Israel, Judges 526. Her hand she put to the tent peg and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera, she smote through his head, yeah, she pierced and struck through his temples. Well, I need level 3 hacking for that. Hmm, there's going to be someone in here, though. They could be dead. Hmm. Well, let's check out in here real quick, too. Oh, got some stuff in here. Let's see, character sheet. Captain Stabfellow? <laughs> like a little RPG thing they're playing. Oh, nice. Another weapon upgrade kit. Uh, and that's another thing, man. They, they, they upgrade my guns even further. I'm going to need that for upgrades. There's a lot of stuff we can, you know, look up. Let's go ahead and use this now. I think I'm going to use it on... We've already got the shotgun with... We can't... The only thing we could do is level 1s. So I don't care about recoil or reload speed right now. Reload speed maybe later down the line. Uh, let's do the handgun because we're doing... We're getting that sneak uh, uh, extra damage when we hit from stealth. And I want to hit with the gun. Let's go ahead and up the damage for the gun. I think that'll be a good one to do. Yeah, from 8 to 9. Let's go ahead and do it. A little bit extra damage, you know. Anything helps. Okay, let's check out the emails here. Let's see, help. Nilis, I'm not going to try to say that name. Help, help, help. Now, Elias, anyone, please. Help, Nils, again. This is not a hoax. Life or death. Help us, please, now. Help, this is Nils. We are trapped here in Shuttle Bay. Please answer urgent help. Morgan, use office keypad from Martin Giro to lobby security. Set up a reoccurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're asking code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan, ask us what the current code is. Ask if... If it was requested or if we choose it, then ask for a new one. It's unusual. Last time he asked, I was right there. So I told him the code and he gave me a blank look. A code we'd said less than a week ago. Maybe he's testing our response time. He's just forgetting everything. And then there's everything for the crew. 
Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and go in this back room. You know what? Uh, I think I could probably, if that guy's alive and tries to act crazy, we could probably stun him with the stun gun. We could also hack this if we wanted to as well, but we have the code. Ah, oh, he's dead. But if he's dead, that means, how did he die? Uh, let's switch guns to the... Let's go, how much ammo do I have for the pistol? I guess. Up. Oh. I was just about to say everything's okay, I guess. Pretty quiet. Got a note here. Officer Bowser's statement. Miss Alizar, I don't know what I saw, but I was trying to do my job. Now I worry I might not get a chance to talk to you, so I'm writing this. I don't recall the last time I was scared, but what happened in Sim, I can't get it out of my head. Whatever is happening, I want to help, not sit here in this room. I'm starting to feel like people on station haven't been shooting straight. Like, what do they actually do in Psychotronics? No one I talk to goes in there, and Yuri Kimura has unnumbered Neuromots in her office that I thought you should know about. Oh, Bowser's the one that told Alizar, and somehow, what's his name? Black found out about and blackmailed her. And this is Bowser here, unfortunately, suit repair kit. Dang, I was hoping to find a, a code for this safe. Just kind of looking around to see if I'm not overlooking something real quick. Let's get our drink of water on. Get that one bit of health back. Uh, then the trash can. I don't know if they put stuff like underneath, like you know what I mean, like a note. That would be kind of neat if they did, but they probably don't, but you never know. Okay, well, we'll have to come back for this. Maybe we'll find the code in our exploration, or eventually we're going to get hacking level 3, you know. So that'll be for later. Is this the only way to exit out of here? Hold on. Oh. Well, that just takes us over there. Um... Okay, I guess so. Okay, so now we're going to head to... Let's go ahead and go to the Trans Stars exhibit. Let's set up what we went, wanted to go to. Original narrow mod prototype. Oh, that's yes. The, we, had, we read the second uh, of act day. We read day two. It's read day one. Day one. I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to the cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over very low and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium, run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people in a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I am certain. I think it was going to the airport while I watched it. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Explosive containers in here. Need to watch out. A couple of them. I already know. Why is it telling me that right now? Was this a Neuromod? Nice. Okay, so we got a neuro mod. So we have, I think that's just one now we have. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and once we get one more, I'm going to go ahead and put it towards combat focus. That'll be our next one I get. Oh, 
Oh, that thing was going to talk. I think I, that <laughs> uh, that made me jump a little bit. Hold on. Oh, there's a med kit over here, too. You know what? Let me uh, eat a little bit of food here just to get a little bit of health back. Uh, this is fine. Nineteen sixty-three, a top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos One. It's interesting. So the Russians and Americans work together for the space After race. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. I didn't really want to turn that on. Can I turn it off? Just seeing if there was anything behind it. Okay, um, I think that's everything around here. Pretty good. We got a couple nice things. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's just a pipe. I thought there was a... <laughs> Look, I got something up there. Okay, so let's check the map here. Um, see where we want to head to next. Uh, we already went to the security area. We can go to the Psychotronics Foyer or the restrooms. We can check out the restrooms as well, I guess. There's a body here. And this is Kelly Randolph. I remember reading... Uh, oh, you know what? She was the one that had the Nerf gun thing. I think it was her place. when it's not playing music you know it's just you here alone you're like waiting for a mimic or something crazy to pop out at you so this is psychotronics i remember bellamy's corpse was supposed to be here and they've been speaking bad about psychotronics we need a key card anyway so we're not going in there just yet i just realized since i've i guess i had the well-fed bonus it looks like you get health back Cause look at my health it was 99 i had like only ate a couple things not to get that much i didn't even pay attention that it was regenerating i guess it was that's pretty neat okay so let's head to the restrooms now so we can't get in psychotronics oh wait what's this ploy orientation look how this looks a little graphical deal there a couple desks there but oh there is two things though I thought one of these could be a mimic. Yep, there you are. Where'd he go? Hey. Oh, at least I got two for one. I, I actually I meant to pick the wrench and I <laughs> picked that instead. Man, that was a good one. They got me on that. Might be more. It's okay. Trying to see if there's anything behind these. Oh, need to move. Is there another one? I thought I heard another one. Yep, it's behind me. There's a couple of them. There he is. Gotcha. Alright, that went too bad. Can I look around here a little bit with no interruptions, please?
Neuromods and Compensation, Section 83076, trans star employees who perform at exemplary levels are also el eligible to receive Neuromods. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything behind here. Let's uh, check this out. Keep checking these out. There's nothing in ever any of them. Let's see where this. Where does this lead us to? Just back out over here. What's this? Psychotronic staff only. Well, we're not getting in there. There's probably a way to break these down or do something later. Nice a med kit. Here's the bathroom. Let's go ahead and check out the bathrooms. Oh, wow. Look at that women's one. It's all locked up like that. There's a reason why it's like that. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hate to waste a pistol shot, but that probably would have been an instant kill with the sneak bonus. Did he drop from the air? There's two of them. Alright, I went too bad. Could have been worse. Nice, some bullets. Ah, uh, the space elevator. Excerpt from the article, Stairway to Heaven by Dr. Angelina M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower. I think I read this one already. I remember, yeah, we did. So were these things up here? That's what it looked like. I think they dropped from the top. Well, we're going to go into the women's bathroom now. This is... And the way that place is... How much uh, space do I have left? Ooh, see where that's why it is, it's important to get your space upgraded quickly almost because look at that We're already almost gonna run out of space again. I might go back up to my office after this and uh dump my stuff off Dang, I'm trying to... <laughs> Just trying to reload. <laughs> oh, it's another glue cannon. Uh, we'll take it because we can dismantle it. Nice. And whose body is this? Marn Girud. I've seen his name mentioned in the emails. I forget exactly who he is. Don't let there be like a phantom in one of these things. I think phantoms talk though, so. Alright, alright. There actually wasn't anything bad in here like I thought there would be. Okay, cool. Okay, bathrooms have been checked out. So, what do we have next around here, map-wise, to check out? Mm, there's really nothing else to look around here, uh, on this floor at least. Uh, what's down in the basement? Psychotronics is down in the basement and life support. Level 2. Level 3. Okay. Maybe we'll go ahead and go to our office and go ahead and head to the... Um, so, we got to then head to where we need to go. Sun-dried tomato... Nice. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Oh, shuttle bay. Let's check this out. Does this show up on the map? Yeah, it does. Just missed it. Jason Chang. What was that? 
Oh, it's probably that alarm. Whose body is this? This is Misha Lazarev. She also has a weapon upgrade kit. Ooh, what do we want to upgrade though? Or do I save it for later? When I up when I finally unlock my upgrades. When I upgrade now, we're getting rid of that. We already have the mangrave shotgun. Uh upgrade it a little bit. Uh, cause I I could do magazine capacity maybe for this. Uh what about glue cannon? There's we have the incapacity. We could I don't really care about handling range maybe could be good. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it, actually, for now. We're going to hang on to it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Is there a computer here? We could do, we could use that Nerf gun. I don't see a thing to shoot, though. Oh, wait. There's that door right there. Because I bet it's locked on the other side, right? Let me see. Oh, is that the security door? Yeah, that's all that leads to a security, I think. I think it would just unlock it, but we already have... Um, I'll go ahead and hit it anyway, just to... Just to do it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I need my wrench back. Might not even be possible to get this shot. Oh, it did work. <laughs> See, that's a neat thing about that. Um, but I don't really... Uh, I already have it open anyway. So with this, we need a key card or what? Uh, shuttle bay. General access. Hmm. Okay, well. We're not getting into there for now. See anything else on the map here? Uh, shuttle bay, security, Transtar exhibit, cycle transfer, which we can't go into yet, restrooms. All right, let's, um, uh, let's head upstairs, I guess. I want to go back to, I want to go and use the, uh, recycler here. Okay, now let's get rid of the shotgun. Make sure it's the shotgun and not our good one. There we go. Transfer that. And we also have two glue cans. This is the one we have not upgraded. So let's go that one. And just to be safe, there's our mangrave. There's our upgraded glue cannon. So that'll, cr that'll free up a little bit of space. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, that's good. I think that's everything. And let's go ahead and make some... How much shotgun ammo do I have? 30. We have plenty of shotgun ammo. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and make a little pistol ammo. That gives us 12 more to play with. Okay. So now, let me see how we're doing on time here. All right. The uh, Dr. Calvino's workshop. Go ahead and make a quick save here just in case. How do we get back up there? Uh, can we get from where we were? Oh, I think it's this way. Wait, no, it's not. It's going to be a dead end, in it? Uh, were we already on the path when we were upstairs? <sighs> yeah, this isn't going to be the right way. Uh...
maintenance access only. I don't have a key card for that. Sales division, no key card for that either. Ooh, I thought I was going to take fall damage. Maybe I wonder if you do take any. I pick up the thing here. So the cool thing is all the corpses stay there. Um, so like if I get necropsy, I wonder if I can come back and pick up all the organs I couldn't pick up, you know, previously. This is where our place is. So how do we get to where we need to go there? Can we do it from here? Hold on. Yeah, you know what? I think we do have to go through the teleconferencing. There shouldn't be anything in here. <laughs> but that's why I remember now that was this door in the back. Yeah, there we go. So what was over there? Was that the sales division, if I'm not mistaken? Let me check the map real quick. Yeah, that's where this that's where we got the nerf gun thing. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's go. How much glue stuff do I have? 289? Yeah, we're good on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Malfunction. We have enough to repair it, but I don't really need it right now. Because I just used I just used what we had. Um It's not too far back from the office if I really wanted to make a run back there. I mean maybe if we can get a bunch of junk, we'll see. Oh, I think we can throw this probably into this. I know I could just break it, but... Ah, that didn't do too well. Alright, well, Dr. Calvino's Workshop Hardware Labs. Let's do it. I really want to find that. I, 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 prob I probably already overlooked it, I'm sure, that code for the in the security office. I don't know why I want that safe open. Just feel like there might be something good in there, but we need hacking. If I don't find the key card or the code for it... We need hacking level three. Not quite there yet. Yeah, there's so many ones I want to get right now. I'm not sure what... To, I'm going to get combat focus next, though. I know it's not the most important thing, but I like to have it early on. Why not? And then there's a 20% recycling yield, which is probably good to get uh, sooner than later. There's to get my security weapons higher damage. I mean, there's the, the inventory space one. I mean, there's a lot of ones we can go down the path we want to. Just gotta think what we want to do first. And then of course the weapon upgrade kits to be able to upgrade our weapons further. Kinda wish that wasn't a thing, but it is. Whoa. Press out to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. While sneaking, you move silently and can hide behind cover to avoid being spotted. As enemies detect you, a meter will appear over them. White means they are suspicious. Red means you're busted. I think I figured that out by now. Unaware enemies take more damage from your attacks. Yeah, I have the, the stealth perk too, so that probably helps. Now, these are robots, it looks like. He's kind of messed up. We could probably uh, hit him with the uh, disruptor. I don't know if that kills him or we'll just stun him. But, uh... Gives us a chance to check this out too. Out of range. Did I miss? Oh yeah, I don't have enough to uh unfortunately hack it. Run away from the other one. I don't think the other one came out. Dang, I need hacking level 3 for that. I thought I was going to be able to hack them. That would have been cool. But this disruptor does do a decent stun. It seems like this gun needs to be charged, though. I just now realized that. Let's go ahead and take out the other one first. Let's see if he had any... Those robots have anything on them here. Oh, I need cubing cells. Okay, well, I guess that might be a 
Maybe a weapon we'll get later. Q-beam, because we don't have anything that takes Q-beam ammo. What is this? Jorgen. Hacking level 2. So we can hack into here. But first, before we do that... up, oh, got a body here. Hope, Ellis. Baseball glove. Thick man candy. Uh, I don't really need that wrench. This is going to take up space. And we're already going to be finding a bunch of stuff. Maybe on my way back out, if I have space, I'll uh, grab it so I can recycle it. Well, let's check out these emails real quick. Let's stay low. Nikki Tanner to Hope Ellis. Hey, I, uh, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sadar. Join us. This is from Franklin Good to Hope Ellis. Demo delay. Hope, just a heads up that the Artax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. I wonder what that is. And this was Hope right here. She didn't make it. Do I have a map of this place? Nope, I have to make it myself. Let's see, we got demonstration theater, hardware labs. Okay, let's look around here though. Also, let me, I don't know if we're gonna run into mimics or phantoms. Ooh. <laughs> I hear one. I hear a phantom sounds in the distance, but I heard it too far, too fast to... Second excerpt from commercialization of the space program, JVA Awards PhD. And Johnson's term came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet U Union had already suffered economic collapse through the similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had all also successfully prevented U.S. involvement in Vietnam. That focus on solving problems at home. Okay. Terraforming Mars. Excerpt from an article on the colonization of Mars by Dan Usley. But the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering. And their Spartan shells are a far cry from idyllic. Idyllic colonies pictured by turn of the century inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be a about to change. In a rare interview, Transtar President Alex G. reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field then pick up, pick out the point of flight that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem that the human race has ever faced. You present an innocuous gray mass, moss to me, an extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose dubbed Takakia Catherine, the simple looking plant, is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that, given enough centuries, will convert the marathon atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Let's do something behind. You know what? Hold on. Are there any stairs to get up here, or no? So we could check this out. I don't see stairs, so maybe we can sneak up here. I know we can, but... There's a phantom somewhere. That's where we took out this robot. We need a key card for... Oh, well, actually, we can hack into this. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's hack. We haven't done hacking yet. Hacking. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems, protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. The hack used L to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside, the target pressed the prompted button to complete the hack. Okay. Okay, so I gotta get it over here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I wonder what happens if you don't do it in time. Probably nothing good. 
Oh, wow, this would be a... Oh, there's an underneath area. Oh, we can drop down. Right? Well, let's keep going. We'll, we'll check that out. Let's, uh, let's keep going up first. This is... Okay, I think I'm going to shotgun... I'm going to handgun him to do some damage. Maybe we can take him out with a handgun just straight up. If not, you know, if, he has, if he's real powerful, I could then glue cannon him and then wrench him up. Look at that. And he got to hit on me, though. But, man, you see that damage we did? Ooh, was that him? That's him. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so we have his Thorstein's, Thorstein's cabin. Typhon organ, spare parts, and a fried hard drive. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and get a, eat a little bit of food here. Let's see, it looks like I have the well-fed bonus. Yeah, see, my health is coming back. That's actually really neat. I think there's a perk that doubles the well-fed bonus. Did I, that actually, at first I thought that was kind of silly, but it actually looks pretty important. There's a safe here. Level three though, unfortunately, so maybe we can find the code for it. First, let's just walk around, see if there's any, um, any mimics in here. Just kind of wander around, we need to lock this for now. Uh, Beyond the Stars, an unofficial trans star history, history, excerpt from chapter three of Beyond the Stars by Samuel Rocher. Dubbed the Reyes Field Theory, this discovery proved to be the jumping off point up for a string of scientific miracles that Transstar began churning out less than a year later. Take, for example, the now, I, I know that word, but I'm, okay, I'll butcher it, operators which take advantage of a localized uh, Leviathan effect derived from the theory's gravitational outworkings indeed, from the matter stripping field, interactions inside the bowels of recyclers to the artificial gravity that keeps boots firmly planted on the Italian marble of the Talos One lobby. The impact of Dr. Ray's theory is undeniable. What's this? Oh, there's more books. Protocol and... I thought... Oh, wait, was that it? I thought something a space elevator, but it looked like it disappeared. That was weird. Hmm. Oh, anything in here? Yep. Before we check out that computer, just looking around. A nice, another narrow mod. And with that, we can go ahead and get combat focus, which I think we'll do. Look at hacking threes, takes six narrow mods. Oof. Um, but yeah, let's go get that combat focus now. The next one, combat focus increases to 12 seconds. This one is 10 seconds. Time slows. Slows less for you than your enemies. Attack steal 110% damage and actions cost 25 stamina. We don't get a um, we don't get a damage bonus, but we get 50% stamina. All right, uh, we have three narrow mods. I thought I only had uh, I didn't even pay attention. Uh, well, hold on. Let me. What about that 20% cycling? We uh, yeah. You know what? I just can't say no to this right now since we have three. That's what it costs to get more. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's a note here. Thornstein safe account clue if you forget the code ES and XE. Oh, wait, is that the periodic table thing? Ah. Okay, let's look for ES. Okay, I already see XE. It's 54, but where's ES at? There it is. 99, right here. 99, 54. I wonder if there's a penalty if you were to guess wrong. Oh, that's nice. Anti-rad pharma fabrication plan. Anti-rad? Typo, 9mm bullets, and recycler charge. Wow. Ooh, recycler charge. 
When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the molecular structure of nearby objects into recyclable material. Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but it is not fail safe. Standing too close can prove hazardous. Recycler charges can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using R2. Actually, I think I have a chipset that makes me immune to recycler charges, if I'm not mistaken, so. Cool, so we got that open. See the email here? This is from Dio Igwe to Jorgen Thornstein. Dr. Thornstein, I want to write to you personally and thank you for your new reployer. I know some people I've been waiting on lists to see one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Thanks, Dr. Dio Igwe. Part requisition. This is from Clive Lawrence to Jorgen. Wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today. Just Oh, yeah, I think we saw that one already, right? No? Just staying there as if... Not sure where to go, and when I offered to help Morgan ask for more operator parts, I asked if the last ones we had sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean, no, f yeah, we read this one already. He's a uh... projects: Q beam, recycler charge, black box, looking glass, R tax propulsion system, calibration, and glue cannon, which is complete. Shows other ones here too. I wonder if we can. Okay, so we already have glue cannon. We've seen the Artex mentioned in an email. I don't know if we'll get that or what that even is. Um, recycler charge we have now. And then we have gotten Q beam ammo. So that's going to probably be a gun of some sort. Okay. Uh, so what is this open? Where does this lead to? Oh, we're just above. We're still above. That's where the theater labs are, right? Yeah. That's just where we were before. Okay. Um, well, let's... Oh, that's right. I haven't unlocked the map yet. I have to... There's a turret that's damaged. Okay, we got a phantom there. How do I use my combat focus? Oh, I didn't get combat focus. I got the recycling yield. <laughs> Is he the only one in here? So if he's the only one. Before he even knew what hit him. Or he even knew what hit him. Look at that turret's fried. Nothing in here. Got some. This is the Thornstein to Thaddeus York. Oh, shoot. Break away. Okay, no interruptions, guys. Let me read these. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here. I get it, but I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. Did you lose this? Hey, this is Gus at Encargo Bay. I found something curious in the outbound. This is from Gus to Thaddeus. I found something curious in the outbound container on my ship. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. It might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in a life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. Thornstein of York. Thaddeus. Dr. Kyle. Oh, we have a code here. Director Th oh, is that all Director Thornstein's office? We already have. We don't need that. Dr. Calvino is feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away from the last for an extended period. I've left everything in working order while I'm out, but just in case I'm sending you the key code, yeah. We already have it. Well, we already got in there with the hacking. Uh, 
Oh, there's a body here. This is Titus Cromwell. Wrench, don't need that right now. Fried hard drive. What is that thing over there? <laughs> Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. <laughs> Can I break this and get the stuff? Pretty funny. Okay, just kind of look around here before I check out that computer. There's another phantom. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Okay, well, I'm not going that way just yet. We got, we were looking around here. Check out this computer real quick. Oh, got a note here. Feed this to an ing operator after you memorize Goop's workstation password macro 11. Had the password, but even if we didn't, we could hack it. Emails. Group small testing skill. You win. To whomever gave dear Mr. Chloe McGlueface arms, a.k.a. first ship, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equal. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. <laughs> This is the Clive to the group small scale to hello. This is a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the closet's key code is 4864. If you take anything, please let me know, Clive. Okay. And this is uh, Jorgen, the glue test results. It just has a small scale to successful. Recommended moving to full scale. No glue is still rightrophobic. How I said that word right. Uh, okay. So we need repair two to be able to repair that. Up. Oh. Okay, so we have the map wise. There's the foyer, the atrium. We could go up. Oh, I think I saw that thing moving, or was that just a? Let's find out. Oh, it disappeared. Might have been a piece that got blown off. Another weapon upgrade kit. But I'm running really low on space right now. Oh, I don't want to take that. Well, how much space do I have? Yeah, that's it. Um, I'll probably have to get rid of this glue cannon. Unless I wanted to make a run back to the... I could do it. Make a run back to the recycler. Maybe I'll do that off camera. Well, while we're here, let's look around first. See what we can find. Cooking with cauliflower. Yeah, inventory's full. Oh, there's uh there's uh materials there. Uh, okay, I gotta get rid of I gotta find something. Do I have a yeah, we can eat this food, I guess. Um it's only one. Should be enough to give me that what I need. There we go. Just more food. I mean, might as well eat it, right? Since I there's a lot of food in here. I don't I already still have food though. Oh, we're good. Okay, cool. Okay, so I guess next I could go to the atrium. Um, don't think there's really anything. Did I read these already? Yeah. We saw that with the... Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so... I think I'm gonna... Let's see, let's go ahead and drop it down. Your 
And the exit's back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and use. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll. You know what? I am gonna go ahead and use those spare parts for that recycler. I guess. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that now. That way, that's done. And actually, you know what? This is a good, uh, good place for me to stop here. So when I come back, we'll come back in here and we'll continue exploring up there. We'll go to the atrium and we still have a bunch to explore down here as well. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Peace.